A 92-year-old Ponca City grandmother will get to stay in her home for now. She was at risk of losing it to eminent domain, so the school district could build a football training facility. But now both sides are working towards an agreement. Nick, News 4's Nick Camper has the new developments. Today was a win for Francis Welch. The Ponca City School Board says it will work with the family to negotiate a voluntary settlement. And while the eminent domain process is now on hold, does not mean that it is over. The school board decided not to move forward today. They want an opportunity to try to come up with some ways to accommodate Mrs. Welch, and that's a good thing. In a hearing Thursday, the Ponca City School Board did not move to seize the home of 92-year-old Francis Welch in order to build a high school football training facility. Instead, it asked for more time to negotiate with the family to find a new solution. Everyone needs to be open-minded about this and and not think with, you know, dollar signs. The hearing was held in Newkirk at the Human Services Building. Media cameras were not allowed inside. Several members of the community showed up to support Mrs. Welch. Bryce Shelton doesn't know the Welch family, but was there because he felt the school board was in the wrong. That's pretty asinine to evict an elderly woman out of her house so you can build a sports complex. Other people have made signs to support Mrs. Welch. The attorney for the school board says the target date for a deal is July 11th, which is the next school board meeting. The Welch family and their attorney are hopeful Francis's needs are met. Mrs. Welch remains the paramount issue. Forcing her out of her home with eminent domain is a bully move. You're not going to bully over a 92-year-old dementia patient. In Ponca City, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. Francis Welch has lived in her home in Ponca City for 70 years. There's also a public petition in support of her with more than 4,000 signatures. You can read it at KFOR.com.